channel it's your girl Gina Bina and we're back in this thing gang 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 so a new month is something to look forward to like <laughs> it's progression in a little list here of stuff that I'm talking about and I didn't really like think too much about it I just made bullet points so hopefully I got a good word for you you know I'm hoping that this spirit will lead me disclaimer I am a Christian um i guess that's what i would identify as i do not care for the construct of religion i focus more on the relationship that i have with my father god <laughs> sometimes we need a little bit motivation like a little bit of motivation inspiration to kick off this pizzazz of our lives like sometimes you know getting a little good pep talk helps you like yeah yeah i'm on fire so like that's what i'm trying to do to you i'm trying to invoke the fire invoke the fire I hope you guys feel my energy because I'm like on a little roll here. Like I feel good. Number one, number one, number one, let go. Let go of that dead weight. Let go past the regrets. Let go them exes, those friends who not doing you no good. Let go of that nigga who ain't treating you right point blank period poo because you deserve so much more and holding on to things that you should have let go are going to keep you stuck and you don't want to be stuck we're trying to elevate our lives and if you don't want to be elevated then keep doing what you're doing baby but i don't think that's going to work for you we must let go we cannot receive what we're supposed to have if we're holding on to something say for instance like i'm holding like multiple things like my arms are full my arms are full and god is trying to say like baby girl <laughs> like you cannot like imagine god trying to give me my phone this is god trying to give me my phone and but this is his hand my hand is still on the pillow okay god is brown right now um i don't know what color he he is or you know but you know he's trying to give me my phone and i'm just like lord my hands are full don't you see that and god is like and you gonna have to like you you want to hold on to the pillow or you want a phone and what y'all don't realize is half the time we be holding on to like pillows we got the iphone 3 in both hands and the lord is like i got a 12 for you baby i got the 26 i got the 30 what you want what you want and but we're holding on to these pillows god is trying to give us something better god is trying to give us something better and we can't see that so we still looking dumb holding on to pillows let them pillows go them pillows not doing nothing for you especially if they're bringing stress into your life like no 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 whether that's your best friend it's family it's your man's it's your woman's like no no stress no stress no stress some some what nba young boy say but anyway you gotta let go like let go some people are like the season some jobs are like the seasons like let go so you can receive something more okay point number two power of the tongue our words are so powerful they're super powerful and you need to speak blessings and elevation over your life. A lot of the times we speak our own negativity into our lives. We don't need nobody else to do that for us, but we do it. Like, don't proclaim brokenness over your life. You are rich. You are blessed and highly favored. And a lot of things might not be your finances, but you're blessed and you're highly favored. Okay. Okay. Like, speak good things, even about yourself. Like, don't say I'm dumb. Don't say I'm stupid. Like, it's very simple stuff that, like, is so natural for us. We don't even realize that we're doing it, but you need to train your tongue because the power of the tongue is very powerful, and you do not want to be speaking negativity o over your own life. Like, that's for the haters who are not going to be prosperous 
who are not going to exceed in speaking down on you so you don't speak down on yourself cheers to watch what you're saying about yourself about your situation about your past about your future and about other people don't speak on nobody don't speak on nobody's situation because you will get humbled real quick the same things that i know we've all had those times where oh that couldn't be me that couldn't be me that wouldn't be me and then look at it being you so watch your mouth Mind your business and, you know, let the power of your tongue speak goodness and blessings and positivity over yourself in your life and others too. Three is mindset perspective. When you're down and out in the world, when you're sad and you're depressed and that boy is no good for you and you're sad because you loved him so much, uh, like, change your perspective, honey to change that perspective you have to think about it like what is for me is for me and can't nobody take that away from me like the right person for you they will do right by you like all the little red flags like sadness like i'm so used to thinking that like struggle love is love but it's not like <laughs> thank the lord for therapy because Love is not measured by how much you have to go through with somebody to prove your worth to them perspective. So you have to change your perspective. Like recently what I've been doing in regards to like dating people, dating people. Let's take a step back. This is just an example that you can apply to other likely things, but take a step back, right? Think about what you've learned from this situation dealing with somebody and you know what you liked about them and you know what you didn't like about them. It takes two L's to make a W, baby. You got to take two L's to make a W. So you learn something every relationship or every person that you date, the people that you encounter, like you learn something new. And instead of thinking about it as a loss like it's putting you one step forward to finding who you're supposed to end up with because I feel like there is somebody out there for everybody um despite the fact that you know the ratio to woman to man is a little to none so then you would think that it's like okay what what what's it to say her man is my man and my man is her man and I just want another man for the weekend Ooh. it wrong I know but change your perspective like change your perspective because our perspective will keep us stuck when we're supposed to be elevating loss comes and for good reason don't just take an L as an L take that L as a lesson learned I like that I like that um action um Faith without works is dead. To make a plan, sit down, put some goals together. And like, as a subcategory for your goals, like detail the actions that it will take for you to reach those goals. Because sometimes goals can be overwhelming, but having a plan helps. It really does. A plan that you can visually see. Like, not just something that's in your mind. Like, have a plan that you can see, something you can look at, something that you can check off, something that you can cross off. That helps. Um, routines will increase your productivity because, like, you can see it and you're scheduling it. Like, I'm a big scheduler. Realistic with yourself. You know yourself. Like, don't, don't come in here and set no out of space kind of goal that's going to set you up for failure be realistic like when you're first starting off goals start with like little goals like if you're not if you're not a goaler like start with some small goals that like you can feel good like you know what i completed this goal like i'm on a roll and then like kind of increase the difficulty level of achieving those goals like, number five you are where you are meant to be honey like regardless of what you're going through you are exactly where you're supposed to be embrace it learn from it and get yourself about that situation if it's not a good one 
if you're in a good place, then like still like take everything in, enjoy where you are because there is no success without struggle. And that's just like it, like all successful people struggle at something. They struggle at some point in their lives and you cannot be grateful for your success if it was just handed to you if you didn't have to work for it if you do you have to you have to you have to crawl before you walk like it's just a matter of a success story like that's it like embrace where you are take that all in remember it journal it like so you can reflect back on it and be like wow like i've come so far and then you're going to be so grateful like for what you have and what you've accomplished knowing what you went through and the work that you had to put in.